Today we're going to talk about typo squatting and URL hijacking. These are kind of very similar things. Uh, some people I would say they're the, they're the same thing. I tend to agree they're they're pretty much the same thing. And we'll draw some differences as as we go along. But let's jump into the slide deck and see what what this is all about. So this is part of the Security Plus body of knowledge. Uh, we'll be looking at comparing and contrasting types of attacks. So domain one again, 1 1.2 types of attacks. This is typo squatting and URL hijacking, both in the body of knowledge you need to know for this particular domain. So Wikipedia has our definition for today. It's where it's coming from. Typo squatting, also called URL hijacking, is sting site or a fake URL that is a form of cyber squatting possibly brand jacking, which I, I would say it is, which relies on mistakes such as typos made by internet users when inputting a website into a web browser. Sometimes called brand jacking. Uh, we're trying to take a brand and kind of hijack that brand name. Uh, URL hijacking, same thing. We're trying to get the URL and hijack that or domain squatting, or as you see it up above, squished together. So it could be two separate words or one word. Don't let that confuse you. So why in the world would people do something like this? Number one, in our world of computer security, the number one reason people do this kind of stuff is to infect machines. If I can get you to go to a malicious site, then there's a chance that I can load malware on your machine. If I get you to click a link, I can load malware on your machine. I can get you onto a site that maybe I can have a text box that pops up and asks if you need support. Maybe I could remote into your machine. And I know this may sound funny to some people, that, but some people are willing to let a stranger that calls them on the phone remote their machine and add malware to it. It's, it's crazy. People could also get the domain that's very similar to a, a popular name and uh, try to sell it back to the domain holder. So, you know, Coke, if we have Coke.com, maybe we rush out and we get Coke.co. Maybe we try to sell it back to Coke. A lot of times the, the courts will rule in favor of the actual brand holder, but you never know. It depends on where you're, you're registering from. We could use this for advertising, for just loading up a site with, with advertisements, as those pay-per-click advertisements. And if we get people to go to them, especially if it's a, if it's a famous site and gets a lot of traffic, maybe a typo-squatted uh, URL that's very close to that may get a lot of traffic as well. So maybe we can get a lot of money off on these cost per click or these cost per views advertising. Maybe we could route to a competitor, maybe, uh, and this is really tricky. A lot of times the courts will definitely go with the brand holder. Again, I'll use the Coke example. You know, if I have a Coke.co, uh, maybe Coke didn't get that. I'm sure Coke's very good about getting all domains now, but Coke.co maybe routes to Pepsi. A lot of times the courts will say, no, that's, that's, you can't do that. And they'll, they'll force Pepsi or whoever's holding the domain to give it to Coke. And that's just, you know, the, the way of the world now. And social engineering scamming, that's kind of what I talked about. You know, we're going to try to social engineer someone or scam them, especially to install malware on their machine, maybe remote in, maybe they give a call and they do the remote and they do a, a, a fake scan of the computer and say, now you've got malware. Now pay us $99 or $199 and we'll remove it. That's again, scam. We're just, you know, generally it goes back to money. If we can uh, tie these things back, uh, a lot of times we'll tie them back to some way, some type of person is trying to get money from these schemes. So what are these types of typo squatting? What, what do some of these typo squatting schemes look like? Well, first, we could have uh, misspellings or foreign language spellings. You know, in our examples, we'll use cyberrecon.com, right? Cyber-recon.com, that's important. So misspellings, you know, maybe people th think it starts with an S, S-Y-B-E-R or recon, R-E-K-O-N. Two examples, misspellings, especially if you're, you're coming from a foreign country, that might not be that strange at all. Based on typos. So in this example, we see C-Y-B-R-E instead of E-R. Sometimes people just make those mistakes. Sometimes it's easy just to make those mistakes. So in, in this example, we see it's just, just a transposition of two letters, and, and maybe somebody buys that domain thinking people are going to cyber recon, and they can do whatever they want with it. Maybe it's based on a differently phrased name. So here we see cyber recon without the, the hyphen. And we also see cyber recon with an S at the end, cyber recons. And there's many other ways you could do these. These are just examples, of course, right? A different top level domain. You know, we have .com, .net, .org, cyberrecon.org or cyberrecon.net. So the word spelled right, it's just got a different top level domain 
at the end. And that could be a, a good way to do this. A different domain code and CO and OM are very popular. So CO, obviously we get a lot of people that just forget to type that M. And again, uh, OM would be a good way to get somebody that just may be typing really fast and didn't get the C in their .com. Again, these are valid top-level domains, so they'll route across the internet. Uh, you'll be able to set up your, your domain, but there's also a bunch of different country codes you could use, but these are just two popular examples, right? First letter drop, right? So maybe you have just dropped the first letter. So instead of C-Y-B-E-R, it's Y-B-E-R. And sometimes, you know, people, again, type quickly, and that's a good way to get someone to a malicious site. And then character swap. I think this is our last one. Um, this is very sneaky, and this is more uh, for setting up a hyperlink than actually getting someone to type the wrong thing in, right? We're going to actually probably set up something like a hyperlink in a text or a hyperlink on a web page or a hyperlink in an email. And this is just where we use a character that looks very similar to another character. So here, in this case, we've typed cyberrecon.com in uppercase, so we can try to hide the fact that the O, the first O there, is actually a zero. And we could do it, you know, to be consistent, we could have the, the O in com a zero too, but that wouldn't route very well. So we do have to leave the back half the same. But if we're setting up the text, the hyperlink itself, we could have that, that, that the actual name in the hyperlink, not the, the URL address, but the name when we set the hyperlink could have the second O as a, uh, as a zero, right? Also, we see the, depending on what typeset you're using, uh, one could look a lot like an L or an uppercase I. There's a lot of letters that look similar to each other, uh, a lot of characters that look similar. So we can, as the bad guy, we can use a lot of this stuff to try to get someone to go to the wrong site. So a lot of different ways we can do this, a lot of different ways that this exploit can go over. And it really relies on somebody just, just typing incorrectly generally, except for this last one. This last one's definitely set up for uh, some type of clicking, some type of phishing attempt where we're maybe using something like email or a text string or a website to get somebody to go to the wrong site. But again, it's set up. We're trying to, to get some money out of this thing is really what we're doing here. So that is, that's the rundown for this morning. What do y'all think of, of this uh, domain? Let me get my, what do you think about the type? What do you think of typo squatting? Is it something that uh, you think would be useful? something you've seen personally in, in the past, something you've seen? Throw some comments below. What do you think about typo squatting, brand jacking? You know, obviously, brand jacking is, is the same. You know, We're in the same realm here. Brand jacking, we're going to take that, that hyperlink and try to create one on the same brand, and we're going to try to hijack it. So hopefully that helps you. Getting you ready for your, your life in security, passing the Security Plus certification exam, as always, uh, I'm, I'm Jim with Cyber Recon. Would love if you share with your friends. Obviously love if you would like and subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified. And uh, have, a, uh, have a good day. And we will see you next time. Be safe out there.